towards our left hand side over there in the bay about 11 and 10 o'clock position there's a pole in the water over there and that is where the HMS Buffalo sun on the 28th of July in 1840. Now there were two people that died that night which were the ship's boys. They were sent ashore with ropes to try and secure the ship and they both drowned. Now the maritime industry is quite traditional so if we require that service today we'll look to the youngest two on the boat to help us out swimming the ropes ashore. If you fail then we'll work on the next oldest and we'll work our way up till we uh, get some sort of success. Oh good, they're nodding their heads so they're up for the challenge. That's good. Okay, so now we're going to get to the end of our five knot channel or speed limit in a minute. I'm going to open up the throttles. I'll call out to hang on every time before I open up the throttles and then wait for a few seconds to make sure your devices are away and then we'll take off. If you're wearing a hat or cap, you are possibly going to lose it, but it'll be more likely on your way back, but it could still happen on our way out. On the way back, we're going to be going into a headwind as well. So, If your cap or hat isn't tied on or really tight and you lose it, I can go back for it. You do have to promise to wear it wet first for at least 30 seconds. Okay, everybody holding on. Here we go. Okay, the rock formations and stuff you see around the trip today are quite typical of this area due to the soft rock they're made from. The little one on the right over here with the small trees on it, it's commonly referred to by the locals as the flower pot. Now it actually looks quite similar to one I made back in high school, coincidentally. <laughs> I failed art back then, but uh, these days they'd call it abstract and I probably would have got a uh, pass with excellence just for trying to give it a go. rope there ahead and there's one around to the left are used by people to um, climb up onto the ledges uh, so that they can jump off into the water. by people to uh, swing off the ledge up there to the left. Um, 
but people do also uh, climb over to the left, there's another rope over there. They climb up through the trees and actually jump off the arch at the top there as well. Now over to the right is um, Cook's Beach, named after Captain Cook. Down the very far end is a stone cairn or monument which marks the position where he observed the transit of Mercury. He did that on the 9th of November in 1769. These guys don't know what they're doing. You're obviously new to this game. You need to get the wind on the other side of the trap. You will never pull it up like that. Drop down in the bar you're holding on to now. Both hang on to it. And, and hold on to it tight and hopefully your weight will stop it flipping right over and then it will turn into the wind. Okay? Where you go. <laughs> we're all going to film you while you do that. Yeah, we're, we're watching, okay? Now swim it around first. You're wasting your time trying to... And I just paddle. Use your hands and paddle it around. Sorry about this, but we're actually... Um, by law, maritime industry, uh, we have to stop and help people at sea in distress. Get the lady up on there too to help you, you need more weight. Oh, here you go. Now hold on to the bar. <laughs> Sometimes the wind can be your friend too. <laughs> Have fun. Okay, let's go. Now the tea ho ho also makes up the um tail of the sleeping dragon that lives here. So that's the tail. On our left over here is the head. See under the trees is a closed eye and then uh, the body of the dragon around the tree line and down into the water. Now as you know we're um, in a uh, marine reserve and for uh, protection what we do here is you see the queue there on the beach they're actually waiting there for their turn to come in the water. So when somebody comes out, then some more people can come in. Now, of course, I'm pulling your chain. That's the cue <laughs> for the uh, water taxi. <laughs> There's a stingray in the water over there. Look. Oh, yeah. They know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Want to be like Irwin, mate? Stuck. <coughs> Uh, yeah. I didn't think it would actually swim that close to them, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, you guys are lucky enough today to see uh, just one lonesome sea mammal on the rocks here to our left. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
This used to be an old blowhole that was probably created originally by a sinkhole from the uh, underground springs. Um, if you look at the rocks ahead of us, uh, there is actually water running down those rocks.
Thank you for booking with me.